Assalamu alaikum, Shaykh. Assalamualaikum. Assalamualaikum. Uh, Thank for coming so far. It means a lot. And uh, I love your lectures. So my question is, um, is there anything from the Quran and Sunnah that keeps you personally uh, close to uh, Allah subhanahu wa and keeps your intentions pure? The whole Quran and the Sunnah. <laughs> yeah, there isn't anything that stands out to say, oh, Shaykh, wallahi, this hadith, wallahi, this ayah blows my mind and this is what, no, 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 the whole Quran and Sunnah, and you guys know that we as Muslims, at least we finish the Quran once a month. This is the bare minimum for lazy ones like you and me. Every single lunar month, we accomplish reading the Quran once. Every night, we finish one juz. This is the bare minimum, as per the hadith of Abdullah ibn Amr ibn al-As, when the Prophet told him alayhi salatu wasalam, how many times do you read the Quran? He said, I finish it once a night. Every single night he finishes the Quran from cover to cover. The Prophet said, no, this is too much. Re read it once a month. So this is the bare minimum. And if you have time, you can do it in like 20 days, 10 days, one week, three days, max. I know one of my relatives, with the grace of Allah, she finishes the Quran every six days out of memory, meaning she revises five juz every day and finishes it six days, seventh, she starts all over again. So it depends on your strength. So what keeps you close to Allah? Ya Akhi, the Quran itself, the beautiful Sunnah. When you recite, when you read the biography of the Prophet alayhi salatu wasalam, Abdullah ibn Mubarak, may Allah, may Allah have mercy on him, one of the great scholars of Islam. After Isha, he used to go into his home and close the door. And his students would say, why don't you sit with us? Why don't you mix with us? He said, why would I do that? I'd rather sit with the Prophet ﷺ and his companions. Meaning he locks his door, he takes his books of seerah and of a hadith, and he lives with the Prophet ﷺ. This would draw you way closer to Allah Azza wa Jal, Ibn Allah.